Hello there. Um, I saw the new Tomb Raider movie, uh, yesterday. Um, Tomb Raider being, uh, the Square Enix video game, uh, series. Um, featuring Lara Croft, the, uh, popular video game character. Um, known for uh, known for many years for having uh, big tits. Um, I'm not gonna talk all that much about Lovecraft's uh, tits. Uh, by the way, just that's just me trying to be funny. So if it fell, um, <clears throat> now, uh, now this being a video game movie, um, video games have not always made the the best movies, uh, because there was that, um, Tomb Raider movie from, like, uh, last decade, starring, uh, Angel Angeline Jolie, and though for a while that was the highest grossing video game movie, and now there's, a, uh, and since then we've also had Prince of Persia, which, uh, I'm going to discuss a little bit in this review, but uh, that's outgrew that as well, and that has since been outgrossed by uh, the Warcraft movie from two years ago, I think, yeah, two years ago, and I think it would be reasonable to guess that would be outgrossed by Tomb Raider, because Tomb Raider is the better movie out of pretty much all of them. In fact, uh, not to say, th in fact, uh, Tomb Raider might actually be the uh, the best video game movie released so far. Uh, damping with faint praise, I know, but I do think that there is some legitimately good things about this movie. Not to say that it's a masterpiece. In fact, I think you can argue whether or not it's good at all. But I think that um, okay, what uh, okay. With video game movies, um, okay, you, there are lots of things you can adapt into a movie from. You can adapt a movie from TV series, comic books, uh, normal books, but uh, video games, that's not one has been uh, truly good yet. Because there are a lot of things that you need to uh, translate from um, a video game that's not, wouldn't normally have a place in a uh, a film narrative because you've lost because uh you've you've got uh, power ups you've got uh like um those things that you find all 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 over the place uh video games are very uh goal based um now movies can be all those things too but a movie can be more um fuck I don't even know, know how to say this but. Um, generally, okay, um, for a while, Prince of Persia was probably the best video game movie because it didn't really adapt the games, it, re it more or less created a new story and added elements from the games into that movie, specifically the uh, Sense of Time video game series, which I am a fan of. Um, Tomb Raider is not a series that I've played all that much. I Except for Tomb Raider Legends, I do have the I do have one of the uh, earlier earliest PlayStation games uh, um, right here, Tomb Raider uh, Tomb Raider 2. Haven't actually played it yet, but it is a uh, I I intend to. I there's a lot of things that I want. There a lot of there's a lot of media I want to absorb, but you know you've only got so much. You've only got so much time on your hands, and uh, unfortunately, I haven't played Lovecraft yet. But no, maybe someday I'll get to it. Maybe I can. Maybe I should make a series out of it and put it on my channel. If you let me know down in the comment section if you'd like to see me start a Let's Play series. Oh man, look at it! And I really uh, look at look at look at how big they made it. They made it hits. That's a, uh, well, different time, but 
let's stop talking about video games for a moment and talk about the movie because this movie is uh, it's it's uh, there are good things about it I think Alicia Vikander she does a really good job as Lara Croft um, if you you might remember her from Ex Machina um, if you haven't seen Ex Machina fix that fix not having seen Ex Machina because it deserves to be seen by everyone Like, stop this video right now, pause it, go on uh, Netflix or wherever you can watch an Ex Machina and watch Ex Machina and then come back here because Ex Machina has to be seen. Okay, uh, um, Tomb Raider um, is, it's competent enough, it's well made, it's well directed, um, it incorporates some like I said, I haven't played the video game series that much, but I do know um, what the game is a, is about, and the movies incorporates all those elements in well enough, from my understanding. If you're a big fan of the video game series, um, you might be a bit more critical of this, but for me, I think it does the job well enough, even if it um, not even if this isn't a very positive review. I I do think that it has lots of areas to improve, which is main, which is I think the most positive thing you can say about this movie that it can be it can be better. Not saying that this is outright terrible. In fact, I think it's uh, pretty far from outright terrible. I do think that this uh, franchise is trying to start its own identity, but I don't think it's really uh, it really accomplished. Because you know how uh, James Bond is like supposed to, supposed to have like uh, gadgets and and like that, and Marvel's all uh, goofy and fun, except for what Infinity War looks like. So is like yeah, like I, apparently like five heroes are going to die. I mean that's what people are saying. Uh, oh man, I, I I I don't know if I want to see that happen, but. And that will show that Marvel does kind of have balls. The kind of uh, balls that Wonder Brothers so really wanted to prove that they had, but had <laughs> just... Damn Wonder Brothers, how stupid are you? Wait a second, was this movie made by Wonder Brothers as well? I have to check that. I think it was. Yeah, I think it, I think it was. <laughs> but yeah, about this style... It seems to want to go for a gritty realism thing, which is fine, but um, I don't think they really did it all that much. I mean, there was a scene where uh, Lara, no, no, not to spoil so much, but she does get um, a piece of metal stuck through her, and she kind of just pulls it out, and it's like it never really happened, which is... Uh, you know, I'm fine, you know, I I don't need, uh, this doesn't need to be a very, uh, but I think it would be more interesting if uh, the injuries maybe kept building up and creating and like rising the tension, but um, it isn't really, like, um, no, and, and that's not, that's not very uncommon in action movies, like in the first Mad Max, Mel Gibson gets his leg blown out, he's wearing a leg brace in the sequel, and he still uh, t tightly bandages the knee in Beyond Thunderdome. And also in World Warrior, he gets an eye injury, and the eye injury is still apparent in Beyond Thunderdome. So, like, it's not, um, okay, the, the point is, that does not happen in action movies. Why not make your action movies stand apart by actually doing something like that? I mean, if she wins at the end, you can just have her, like, Go on a city road to a complete recovery. I mean, that's there's no that wouldn't be terrible. And unfortunately, the plot's not all that great. I mean, like at some point there is a like part way through the movie, there is a very pointless chase scene that you could have uh, got rid of and would not have made any difference. 
the character development is not that great. Uh, although Alicia Vikander does do a fine job as Lara Croft, she's a. Uh, they never make Lara Croft all that interesting. Which is sad to say because Alicia Vikander does actually do a good job. I think that if she had a better script, she could have been downright great. You know, this is unfortunately the kind. You know, this is a kind of review that I really don't want to give because I kind of feel like this will encourage discourage people from seeing it. And uh, <clears throat> but this is a uh, oh man. Okay, it's clear from the ending that they that Square Enix they are the owners of the uh, Lara Croft video games and who are making this movie. Want this to lead into sequels? I hope it does. I hope we do get sequels. I think that um, this can get better. I do think it can get better. I think it will get better before it gets worse. And uh, but uh, apparently Square Enix also wants to do a cinematic universe, which uh, oh my god, is is that going to lead to some kind of Square Enix Avengers? Uh, Oh my god, that just sounds so stupid. But, um, it does do, but I guess it does a better job of getting me excited for a shared universe than the mummy from last year did. Blah. Oh, fuck. Uh, fuck you, Universal. Just, uh, you better hope your Frankenstein movie with, uh, Gal, with Gal Gadot is good. So, uh, yeah, Lara Croft. You know what? Yeah, go see it. This is a a modest recommendation of La of Lovecraft. It's not amazing. It won't change your life. It won't um it, it won't break any new grounds. It's probably not even going to probably hasn't really it hasn't even really changed the video game movie curse all that much. But I do think this can get better. I do. I hope it does. So. Yeah, Lara Croft. If if you want to see him, if you want to go to the movies and nothing else interests you, I think this won't be a bad idea. I think a lot of people will get something out of it. <sighs> so, yeah, Lara Croft. Um, I don't even know what else to uh, end on other than um. Bye.